What are stems? In today's video, we're going to be talking about another plant part, stems. This is Homeschool Arcade, helping students and educators thrive through engaging and educational video content. So don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share this content, and let's get to it. In the botany video series so far, we've talked briefly about six main parts of a plant, and then we learned about the roots. Well, today we're moving on up to the stem. Now, it's important to note that not all plants have stems. Vascular plants have stems, whereas non-vascular plants do not. If you're not sure what those terms mean or just need a refresher, you can check out this video which describes the differences between vascular and non-vascular plants. So today, let's start talking about the functions of stems, types of stems, and the parts and anatomy of a stem. First, let's talk about the function of a stem. What do they do for a plant? Well, there are three main functions we're going to quickly touch on. First, stems support the structure of a plant. Simply put, they provide a physical structure for it and support the leaves and the buds on the plant. Second, stems provide structure for the vascular system of the plant. This system moves the minerals, the nutrients, the water, the food, all around the plant as needed. Thirdly, in some cases, some stems also store carbohydrates. These stored carbohydrates are an energy source which is available to be used later for the plant's growth. Now, let's check out this FYI. FYI for your information. The tallest tree in the world is 380 feet tall. That's like really tall. <laughs> and it is a coast redwood. So like you climb that tree and you're like gonna be like in the sky. It's, the nickname is a, it's, is a Hyperion, which is like really cool, like a superhero that can blast balls like this. Hyperion! Now we know what stems do for plants. But what are the different types of stems? Stems are arguably one of the most diverse parts of a plant between different species. There's short stems, long stems, hard stems, extremely flexible stems, underground stems, and, and even wide, compact, fleshy stems. And if we look at stems in the broadest sense, there's actually two main types of stems, woody and herbaceous. Woody stems are just like what it sounds like. They're hard, rigid stems that are covered in bark. And these woody stems are found in, in perennial plants that grow taller and wider each year. And these include things like trees and shrubs. Herbaceous stems are generally green and more soft and flexible, and these herbaceous plants are smaller, usually don't live as long as woody plants. And these include things like grasses and flowers and many others. Now, some other pretty unique stems include a multitude of cacti and vines, various modified underground stems, and we could spend a long time talking about the many different forms of stems that they can take. But instead, let's just take a look at some pictures and take a gander at a few. Check it out. Next, let's talk about the general parts and anatomy of a stem. What parts make up a stem? Stems have three main parts, which are the cambium, the xylem, and the phloem. And the cambium is the part of a stem in which plant growth occurs, both in length and width. And xylem and phloem are the two parts of the vascular system which transport substance all around the plant. So xylem moves water and other nutrients from the roots to the rest of the plant. Phloem moves food and other materials made by the leaves to other parts of the plant. So this system of xylem and phloem is actually quite complex, but we're hoping to create a video just to focus on this system for you very soon. So be on the lookout for that, and we'll provide a link to it once it's complete. So 
Now, let's talk about the main parts of the external anatomy of a stem. Now, if you take a look at this picture, you can see that plant stems have nodes, internodes, and lenticles. And nodes are the places from which leaves or buds emerge. And internodes are simply the spaces between the nodes. So the length of the internodes varies greatly depending on the plant. And finally, the, the lenticels, which are found on woody stems, are pores or small holes through which gas exchange occurs. So with that, now you know a bit more about stems and how important and unique they can be. So hopefully you found this information on stems helpful or perhaps a good review for you. But please don't forget to click like and subscribe and share this content so that way you don't miss out on what we're coming out with and what our next video as we keep moving up learning about the plant as we tackle, well, leaves. So, y'all have a good one.